Good afternoon, parents and students. This is our second video on drawing a pinwheel using symmetry around an axis. Now in our second step, we've got our reference um, circle divided equally into 16 pieces. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit of the artwork. We're going to take this point and we're going to draw an arc that touches touches this line just lightly and ends at the center of the circle. So I'm going to show you how that is. And it's going to be different for each one, but we're going to try to make that consistent around the whole circle. So I take this part, I'm drawing my arc, and I just touch like this edge, and that's it. I'm going to turn my paper, I'm going to do the same thing with this side. I'm going to take this point, I'm going to draw an arc, and just touch this circle, the, the, this line lightly, and come to the center of the circle. Okay, same thing with this. I'm trying to make these look the same. See how that one, how I missed the line here? So I'm going to erase that. I'm going to try again. I don't think I started with enough arc up here. I'm going to start it with a little bit more steeper arc here. A little bit better. Again, not perfect. Don't worry about it. If you like drawing, this is a great... The fun is in drawing this, not making it exactly perfect all the time. This one looks quite a bit larger than the other ones. That one came out pretty good. And if you do this a couple times, you'll get better and better. That one I went over the line a little bit. I don't want to go over that line. I want to go to the line and kind of follow the line. A little bit better. Take your time, end at the center. So when we do this, we're going to have 16 lines. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from here to this line here. So we're going to draw another arc and we're going to use up a few of these spaces like that. You don't want to go too low or too high. This is going to determine the opening, so we're going to have an opening like this. You can draw your line a little bit lower, you can draw a little bit higher, but once you draw this line, you want to try and be consistent with all of the other points. Now I'm going to start erasing my lines. Okay, to finish up our design, 
I'm going to start at this point again, and I'm going to make an arc that kind of matches this one, and I'm going to end at this line. So I'm making an arc, kind of ending at this line. So this is very familiar to what we did with our tessellation, tessellation is we here's that one that's really large. It didn't quite come to a point up here. I want it to look a little bit pointer. If you ever had a pinwheel, this is going to kind of look like a pinwheel. There we go. A little bit more of a point. Each time you do this, it's going to come out a little bit different. So. Now we're finished with our design. I hope you're impressed with what you've done. Now we can keep this design for a very long time and repeat the pattern and come up with different ways of coloring it. Now we have to get rid of the, the grid paper on the background. We just want the design, but we don't want these blue squares on there. And this is my favorite thing to do, trace. This is what the packet of tracing paper looks like if you want to go to the store and purchase some more. It comes in these different sizes. And this is the paper that's inside of it. It looks like normal paper until you lay it onto your design and then your design comes right through. We're going to trace this design onto this tracing paper now. Now we've traced our design onto our tracing paper. You could color your design right on this tracing paper if you'd like because you can retrace new designs since you have this copy. So this copy you can repeat over and over again onto tracing paper. And you it really looks great when you color on tracing paper also. But I'm going to make some copies on the copy machine just so I can experiment with color a little bit. You can take this to a place that makes copies and make copies yourself if you want to experiment with color.